Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the joint announcement between Microsoft and the Linux Foundation, who today decided to join forces to create a brand new operating system called the SOS, which is the Secure Operating System. So let's take a look at this in a little bit of depth. We don't have a lot of information about it just yet, but yeah, let's take a look. For decades, PC users have been divided. On the one side, we have Windows, and that offers a user-friendly, it's a giant, it dominates the market with its intuitive interface and vast software libraries. On the other hand, we have Linux, which is an open source champion that offers unparalleled customization and security, but it can have a steeper learning curve. Let's be honest, both systems have their strengths and weaknesses. Windows is great for everyday tasks and casual users, but it can be susceptible to bloatware and security vulnerabilities. Linux, on the other hand, offers unmatched control and stability, uh, but its command line can be intimidated for beginners, not to mention all the choices that you have in trying to determine what distro you want to use, what desktop environment you want to use, or if you want to mess with Windows managers at all. So what if we could combine the best of both worlds? And that is why they have decided to join forces and create this new operating system. I can imagine that an operating system that seamlessly blends the user friendliness of Windows with the rock solid security and customization of Linux would offer a huge advance in innovation down the line. SOS would offer familiar and intuitive desktop environments, much like Windows, but with a robust security core built on the Linux foundation. That would mean a system less vulnerable to malware and viruses while still offering the vast software library that Windows users enjoy today, at particularly access to world-class games. But SOS wouldn't just be a pretty face. Beneath the surface, it would leverage the power of Linux for efficient resource management and stability. This could lead to faster, more responsive systems than even older hardware. At the same time, Linux would be able to leverage getting Windows drivers earlier so that your favorite devices can be used first day you open up the new hardware and install it. Additionally, SOS would embrace the open source nature of Linux. Developers would have access to the core Windows code, allowing them to create innovative applications and customizations tailored to specific needs. This open approach could foster a vibrant development community and accelerated innovation. But of course, this would be totally ridiculous and it didn't happen, it's not gonna happen. Happy April Fool's Day. I'm DJ Ware, the Cyber Gizmo, and I hope to see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.